Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the arc length of a sector. So first of all, let's go and remember exactly what a sector is, an arc length, and all this kind of stuff. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a circle. And what we started off learning about circles was talking about radians. And that's what I'm going to kind of use to describe this. So remember the definition of radians, if we took the radius, which in the, let's say in the unit circle was r, uh, was 1. What we did was we wrapped that around. Actually, it's not useless. Let's just do r as radius. And what we did was if we wrapped that around our circle, what we created was a radian. And a radian was the distance of your radius wrapped around your circle. Now, we gave that measurement. You can see now what I've done is I've taken the rotation of two rays. I had my initial ray here, and then I rotated another ray, the distance of the radius around the circle to this point. So we called that angle theta, which was a central angle. So whenever we had a central angle, an angle on kind of like at our origin, up the, up the rotation of your two rays, that was our central angle. Now, since this was one rad the radius was one radius, and when I measure it one radian, we said theta was equal to one. That means a the measure of theta was equal to one radian. Then we started talking about dealing with radians as, you know, let's say pi. And if I wanted to draw an angle, let's say, at 3 pi over 4, well, what I did was I looked at this and I said, can I break this up into force? So we'd look at this circle and we'd say, all right, you can break this up into force. And if you break it up into force, that means if I was going to rotate an angle, so if I was going to rotate a ray, here would be 1 fourth. Rotate my ray to this would be 2 fourths. Rotating my ray to here would be 3 fourths. And what that means is, so we'd say my angle theta is equal to 3 pi over 4. And what that means is its arc length is 3 fourths of pi. So the angle is 3 fourths of pi, and the arc length is 3 fourths of pi. So what that did is that bring us up to an equation, which is S, which represents, equals our arc length. And our arc length is the distance of our arc. All right? That's equal, so S is equal to your radius times theta. Because remember, look at this angle. Here, if we said this angle, this distance is one radian. Well, the angle we said was one radian. So therefore, if I say, if you know that this distance from here over here, this arc length is pi, Right, Because we can deal with the circumference. If you think about the circumference of a circle, is 2 pi. So half of the circumference of a circle is pi. That means that distance from here to here, the arc length is pi. So if I take 3 fourths of it, that means the arc length is 3 fourths. But the angle, the angle measure, we also call is 3 fourths. So for arc length, for any arc length, for any radius and theta, what you're going to do is arc length equals your radius times theta. So no matter what my radius is, um, or whatever angle um, or arc length I give you, you can now use this formula to help you solve for your missing term. So I hope that uh, helped you out. If you have any other questions, you know, please let me know. But uh, just remember that your theta is equal to your arc length when we have a radius of 1. But then from then on out, you're going to want to use this formula to help you solve. Thanks. All right, you're not doing any work. What's wrong?